Aber eben auch nicht da, oder? Ah, hallo da. Secretary A? Das ist mich, Sir. Kann ich dir helfen, dass du dort gehst? Das ist okay. Ich wollte eigentlich nur fragen... Well, ich habe mit deinen Brüdern gesprochen. Oh, wie nice. Welche von denen? Mr. 17 und Mr. 24? Well, I didn't speak to Mr. 24 about that, but... Ah, yes. Yes, good, loyal, old water <laughs> employees both. I dare say I've been a good influence. Although even my shining example couldn't extend to him. So, he's the fourth brother. What happened to him? Oh, <clears throat> I do apologize. I've got to see to, uh, matters. But I'm sure 24 can help with your inquiries. He has a better grip on the whole sordid affair than I do. Okay, Mr. Eight. Hm? Geht nicht. Mit dir kann ich nicht reden. Nee. Travel in style with all water. Unsatisfactory journey for some reason? Just contact your nearest and Nichts zu machen hier. Hunch Observatorium. Okay. Okay. Wir machen gleich das nächste Spiel rein. Ich glaube, ich habe fast alles gesehen. Also die ganzen Ecken Ecke gehabt. Oh, grün, nee. Das geht auch nicht mehr. Okay, wir gehen wieder raus. Und gehen wieder hoch. Dann noch höher. Ähm, macht mal. Okay. Da kann ich ja. Oh ja. Okay. Das ist komisch, ne? <lacht> Where are we gonna go? Could they just leave some notes around? I wonder if this is the light keepers again, or just <laughs> someone copying their style. <laughs> Will they mm -hmm. ever reveal themselves?
Hey, Professor. Got a message from Cyrus for you. Out with it, then. He says... Hi. Hi? Just hi? Yeah, just that. He said you'd know what it means. He's a sly one sometimes. I'll give him that. Stubborn as a mule. What's a mule? Oh, don't you start, Harold. <laughs> Leave me be. I've got to think of a comeback. I mean, get some important work done. Ja, ja. Professor? Harold, just let me know when you fuck. Oh, oh. Ja. Oh, ich fühle mich erschlafen. Oh. Hm. Schade. <lacht> ich trate, ich soll den Augen nicht Kontakt haben. Ja? Werbung, ey. It's missing that snap, that sweet saucy something. Das sieht komisch aus mit der Gurke da. Das denn? Hollywood? Ey, wacht mal. Ich wollte noch eine Tasche run runtergehen. Eins. Ah. Hm. war ich ja schon immer. Hm? Also von daher habe ich so. Schöpfe oder so. Ja, wie auch immer. So, jetzt gehen wir mal hoch. Ich habe einiges gemacht. Ich habe noch was zu tun, noch ein paar Sachen. Aber. Hm.
dir das nächste machen. Hm. Das, das Buch vielleicht. Ich muss ein Buch lesen. Ne, anscheinend nicht. Ja, okay. Lobby. Muss doch auch hier anders hin. Destination chosen. Den sprechen hier überhaupt. Mr. 24, kind. Mr. Halibut? So, I was just talking to your brother, Secretary 17. I mean, and <laughs> it was funny. Actually, at first I thought he was your other brother, 8. I'm sure he found it just as hilarious as I do. Do you need something? Yeah, only that when I spoke to 8 about what 17 said, he said to speak to you about what happened with your fourth brother. <laughs> ah, yes. Our wayward Warren, the fourth brother who went his separate way, choosing a life of gastronomical frivolity over contributing to society with all water. Oh, I see. Are you ashamed of him just because he didn't follow you all into working for the corporation? Is that why none of you like to talk about him? Actually, he tried, but he didn't pass the entrance exam. We suspect his heart wasn't really in it. We used to do everything together. And we were supposed to stick together, but he didn't study enough. And now... Yes, what does he do now? <sighs> Last I heard, Warren had started a food stall. I don't want to think about it. Okay, well, thanks for telling me about him. I'll leave you be. Okay. Okay, let me take it here. Actually, smile. Okay. Ich, ich versuche es noch den einen zu kriegen, noch den einen. Aber ich glaube nicht, dass ich den da rein. Ja. Ich muss sagen, ich, eigentlich wurde er war nochmal. Ja. 
Nee, der Oma. Ja. Warum ist denn das doch? Beim Essen oder das? Ich gehe jetzt mal so. Hin. Destination selected. Have a pleasant journey and a fantastic day. Hmm. You may now exit the tube. Thank you on behalf of the Allwater Corporation for choosing to travel with us today. Ja. Wir waren andere Leute. Ja, und von dem kann ich auch treffen. Also gehen wir sie. Dann gehen wir zu. Kate. Macht Essen, auch wieder erzählt, ne? Was gibt's noch? Das ist nur elektrisch. You're here. Thank you for choosing water tubes. Oh what yeah. Mr. 17. Correctly calculated. I can't offer you another raffle, I'm afraid. That's okay. I understand. But I asked 24 about Warren. The way some of you talked about him, I thought he'd... Something bad had happened or something. Something bad did happen to him. I'm sure 24 told you about his entrance exam. But that's not the whole story. We would have supported him anyway. But he began Zillinger. to be... Disparaging about... Like suggesting that maybe it was for the best that he didn't get a position. So... That's when you fell out. I, I, I think so. It's complicated. It's been a long time since we spoke. He went off traveling the station on some chaotic quest to find culinary inspiration, I believe. I see. I mean, 24 and 8 didn't make it easy for him, but mm. I don't want to bore you with the family history. And I need to get back mm. to revising these raffle ratios. Okay. <laughs> see you, Mr. 17. Okay, auch erledigt. Wir sprechen? Nein. Rein theoretisch gesehen, ja? Wenn wir essen. Also. What do you know about Filter Frankie? Filter Frankie? Yeah, Frankie. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you again, but I went booking for Mrs. Vandervart. And she was at the harvest office. Non news. It's her office. Where else would she be? I know, but it's more who was there with her that I thought, you know, I should mention. What? Who was she with? It looked totally professional. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anything bad. Just Senor Tenerbaum. Gah, what? What's he doing in her office? <laughs> There's no way he knows enough about energy. If I still had my own hair, it would never have come to this. Tommy, I'm sure it's not like that. I just... You don't understand, Harold, what it's like to get old. But I'll be damned if I'm gonna take this lying down. Tommy, I don't think you should, uh, get angry. And you're in on this with me now, Harold. You did the right thing bringing this to me. I'm really sure it's nothing, just a lunch chat. I've just been so busy working on this damn store sign. Thinking Bridget would love the ambition, you know? See me as a real go-getter again. But maybe this whole time I should have been showing her signs of my love. I'll bet she knows you... You're absolutely right. We'll modify the sign. <laughs> Tonight. Make it into a great big... Neon <laughs> proclamation of my... Nay, our love. A sign she won't be able to miss. A sign to blind, glossy-maned Casanova. I mean, I'm not sure that's the sign. Don't doubt it, Harold. This is gonna work. I just feel it. You're in, right? Will you help me save our love? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll try. Knew I could count on you. Let's get to work. Uh. Chaka, justice. <laughs> See us be. Ah. Oh, nein. I'm gonna go freshen up a little. Might even put on a different outfit now that I think of it. 
Will you go and look for Bridget for me? Yeah. Cheapless. <laughs> oh, me. My dear Bridget, I'm sorry we haven't been able to spend much time together recently. So I get how you might be attracted to the man machine with the flowing looks of an angel mm. that you call your friend. But I do beg you to give me another chance. <laughs> Please, Bridget, will you let me back into your heart and take this monument to our love as a sign of my great affection? Tommy, of course I love you, and I would never betray you. I just wanted to give you some space. I saw you working so hard on your new sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Couldn't tell me what? Oh, what the heck. The ship's facing some issues with the energy budget. I knew you would need a lot of light for your sign, and I just wasn't allowed to tell you. Ha! No way we've got an energy problem here. That was it? No helping Tinner Bob with his spray tan? That was it. No spray tan. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Buttercupsy. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's just a donor. Yeah, I weiß. Thank you for your help, Harold. I was hoping you'd accept this stone as a thank you. Ah! Oh, no. Moreau won't be happy to hear about this. It's nice to end. Major? Harold! If it transpired you had anything to do with... No, no. I want to find the rock more than anyone. <clears throat> Say I believe you. Can you think of anything that... I'm sorry, Major. I'll let you know if I think of anything. See that you do. That missing rock is a stain on my sheet of justice. I will. Bye, Major. <clears throat> Be good, Harold. Ah, uh, Harold. Listen, about the... You know, I would have loved for you to have it. Uh, it's okay, Tommy. It wasn't your fault. I just feel bad, you know. I was so wrapped up in my own stuff, maybe... Thanks, Tommy. Maybe it'll turn up. I'm just... Thanks, Harold. You're a swell guy. I'll keep my... <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. Uh, Bridget? Harold, how... Uh, you know, same old. Yep, same old here, too. Energy issues? You heard that, Mr. Busy Ears? Ugh, but yes. I mean, we've always got to be careful and efficient. <laughs> and, you know, this isn't... But I want to be extra careful right now until we figure... Is the station using more energy than it used to? Well, yeah. Especially the transportation system. And the damn tubes or tickets never work and just get more expensive. Right. Remind me why we can't just reduce the transport system? Huh. I ask myself the same... Every time we add some new upgrade or expand it, it eats up more energy. Our production process doesn't get any more efficient. Plus, when we held an anonymous vote about it, the majority of Fedorans said they'd rather have more transport now rather than more energy later. You know, I'm not sure I've ever understood exactly how the energy process works. Gosh, why? It's not exactly a line answer. Look, if you really want to know, swing by the energy harvest office sometime and I'll break it down for you. I'd better go. Thanks, Bridget. See you, Harold. Hey, Rafi. Hmm. What are you up to today? Lots. Very. Too busy to chit chat. Hmm. Ona? Harold? Come on, give me a clue about the plot. No way I'm ruining this surprise for you. Let's just say... Set across the end... And the then present day of... Wow. It does sound... What's it called? Nebola. So, where did you find the book? Huh. I have a 
friend in logistics. There were a couple of unopened safety deposit boxes, unopened since launch because the owners hadn't actually made it. The statute of limitations ran out. They crept. Whoa. What else was in the? Oh. But I wonder who it belonged to. Yeah. Some mystery. Oh. I can't wait to see. I'll be watching. Thanks, sir. Was alles ja. <laughs> Buddy, you got a sec? Always. So you've been the postman for ages. The main thing that's changed is people get their mail. Say what you will about. Well, I mean, mostly free. Ah, but I remember now. One time, probably a few months before the crash, I had to deliver a letter right across to the others. Everything that could have gone wrong on that delivery did go wrong. First, I tried to take a shortcut and got lost. I had to go through some construction works and lost my hat somewhere along the way. Then I got back on track, but tripped over a rat and tore my uniform. I stopped to get some food along the way and burned my mouth. Never been back to Charlie's. And you know, what would it have looked like to the letters received? Red faced, bruises on my knees. Well, I was already late, so I went anyway. I posted the letter. When I woke up, she was standing there. Her? Um, yes. Anyway, no torn uniforms. Bye, buddy. See you, Harold. A melody, you know, can't I? sprechen. So, was gehen wir runter schnell. Mach noch äh, bis 45 Spiele. Ist nichts zu über. Äh, was gucken? Hey. Harold, got you a message. Oh, thank you. Zudo, pleased to make your acquaintance. So, it's from Felix. He says there's something he wants to show you and to expect a secret. Oh, what? I mean, and why couldn't he just have said that to me himself? I don't know. Go ask him. My work here is done. Later's, mister. Thanks. Location nominated. Journey commencing. Mal schauen, gleich mal ins nächste Spiel rein. Weil irgendwie ich kann. Äh, das ist halt nur ein Adventure. Thank you for traveling with all water. Please halt for your contaminant inspection. Ah. Inspecting. Contaminant detected. Please do not panic. Oh, hey, Harry. So, you and Sonny seen much of one another recently? Well, not that much. I'm sure you know what it's like. I bet you didn't see that much of her. She certainly... Hmm, yeah. It'd be nice if she wanted... Hey. A 
Okay, hier kann ich zum Wochenende anscheinend. Okay, ja. Wo ist die Chefin überhaupt? Please halt for your Was ich machen soll jetzt noch. We know you enjoy traveling with all water. You're welcome. Professor, why does that not surprise me? The blue rock, it's gone. You found it? You lost it? It was stolen from Tommy's store. This is utterly vexatious, Harold. I know. We? I need to think. <laughs> Madam CEO, you're going to want to hear this. I'm listening. It's the new boy, ma'am. It's picked up a signal that we have reason to believe originates from Earth. Earth? Had you reverse dated the transmission? We have. It was sent in 2102. So 126 years after we left. Things would have been pretty rock bottom back there by then. Let's hear what was important enough for them to okay. come after us. Maybe it was their final farewell, huh? I hope it's nothing too awkward. Okay, I'll send a copy via... Well, just play it to me. I've got a 1205. But ma'am, it's only 10. And one of those. Okay, playing back now. This is, uh, uh, to the Fedora. Boy, he was sure hope you're all okay. Whoever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Johnston! Cut the damn line! You're live! What? Oh, fudge! Professor, did you hear that strange message? It was hard to miss. It's the first message from Earth. Ever? Certainly in my lifetime, at least. I wonder, what kind of message would a dying civilization speculatively send to a ship that can never return? Hmm. What do you think it means? It means that the fact all water <coughs> haven't shared it publicly yet means they're thinking about how to turn it to their advantage. What if it's not the first message? Don't be paranoid, Harold. What reason or authority would they have for keeping messages from us? Still, even if they had planned to share it immediately, they look suspicious now. Gosh, <coughs> that message could be anything. Maybe they've got information for us about our mission. Hmm. Well, what could that information be? If we presuppose... Okay. <lacht> Telefon, ja. Da sind... Rotes Telefon, das ist immer schlecht, wenn es klingelt. <lacht> yes? Oh, it's you. Yes? No. Indubitably. Fine. What? 15%? Out of the question. Okay, sure. See you shortly. Harold, I want you to come with me. Huh? To where? What? That's Who right. was that? Why? It was the CEO of Allwater Corp, of mm -hmm. course, <laughs> asking me to jump. What for? How high? Indeed, Harold. Indeed. Well, unfortunately for my bath, she was adamant we went there immediately. She even unlocked our tube tickets for emergency night travel. But why? What does she want with us? Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Come on, let's not keep Her Highness waiting. So, we're going to an end of the game. How big is this Crisis confirmed. Oder? We need to get out there ahead of the turn in public sentiment. First move advantage and get this working for us, not against us. Yes, come in, come in, come in. Now, as you both know, time is of the essence. Sorry, where are my manners? Would either of you like something to drink? Ah, I suppose I might like a coffee. There's really no time for coffee. Time is of the essence. Professor, would you like to sit? No, thank you. I prefer to stand. Oh, 
A woman of action, I love that. Anyway, we must act. Due to the unfortunate comic incident, we've been forced to move up the schedule. It's imperative we deliver some good news about the start procedure. Hmm. I suppose that wouldn't hurt. To that effect, Professor, and, um, you there. I'll need you to supervise Cyrus directly. We can't afford for any unforeseen delays. Cyrus, he works best undisturbed. The man is a stubborn buffoon, but there's no doubting his thoroughness. <laughs> Professor, please. It would do this old heart good to know that you were keeping a watchful eye on <laughs> Or maybe your... Um, los. ...protégé here could do it. I'll hang out with... I mean, watch Cy. Sure. If it makes you happy, Madame CEO, we'll make sure Cyrus delivers. Great. Music to my ears. Thank you both. You've done all water and the ship a great service. We're ready. Go live and stay on schedule. Oh, God. <coughs> It's my privilege to announce to you all today that our new boy program has already proven an unmitigated success. We present to you now the full and unedited audio that represents the first incoming message we've received in our lifetimes. Now, before the message plays, I'd like to take a moment to reiterate just how proud we should all be of progress on the new start procedures. It won't be long before we're ready for the first attempt, the latest in a long line of steps on the road to a greater, brighter future for us all. Please enjoy this message, brought to you by the All Water Corporation. This is, uh, uh, the Fedora. Wait, we sure hope you're all okay, whomever is still out there. We're not quite sure how to tell you this. Things were pretty rocky here when you left, of course, and, you know... That was a brave move. Probably the right decision at the time. We didn't know whether to even tell you this, but we figured maybe it would give you some comfort way out there in the freezing clutches of deep space. What? Oh, right. Yeah, I guess. Or, I mean, even better, the comforting, warm embrace of a lovely, habitable new planet. Well, we just wanted to let you know that we pulled together down here. The sparrows calmed down and things pretty much work themselves out. Life still isn't perfect. Bananas died out. And you've got to be pretty careful around okay. But by and large, we're back on track. I've survived. Wish we could send you a postcard. Anyway, be safe, and maybe one day we'll get a hello from you. We'll be listening. What are you all still doing here? Don't you have work or something to do? Scram! <laughs> Auf diese Seite, ja, gucken. Was passiert? <lacht> Captain at Large Baron. Ah, hallo. Uh, I'm Harold Halliburton. Yes, I'm sure you are. Harold. Oh, I always get lost around here. Uh, no, Harold. I know my purpose, but sometimes it doesn't seem very... You heard the leak, I presume? Yeah. That leak, that one message, it's undone me. If my whole family, this whole mission, the ship, my captaincy at large... <laughs> what if it was all a mistake? Oh, I see. Well... Maybe Earth didn't get as bad as people thought it would. And you know, it wasn't us that chose to fly away. I suppose. Speaking of which, have you...
you ever lost someone, Harold? Have you? Yes. Someone important. She's gone, Harold. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Coco has taken an unscheduled leave of absence. Oh, so she's not lost forever? No, I'm sure. Is it anyone I might know? My beloved? Her name is Coco. Oh, not sure I've ever met her. Do you want to see a picture? Eh? Coco is a bird. Harold, you're such an understanding sort. Could you try to find her for me? Gott, ich werde jetzt keinen Vogel suchen. Ich werde jetzt keinen Vogel suchen. Da habe ich keine Lust zu. Ah. Whatever are you implying? I'm sure. Uh. So. Yes. Such a loyal first mate. Does she make? Hmm. Not that I know. I did find her once in a. I promised to. Oh Harry. Oh Harry. Fine. Can I find fools to look on? Was ist mein äh, äh, Dings überhaupt? <lacht> okay, machen wir das. Noch ein paar Minuten machen wir es noch. So, was bin ich hier? Okay. Da komme ich nicht rein. Ja, da. Ich kann jetzt überall hingehen, weil äh, Nacht ist keiner da. Eigentlich. So gedacht. Ja, 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 Harold, just look. Oh. <laughs> Kaputt. Oh. Okay, <lacht> gut. <lacht> gut. Fast ja gerade gut. <lacht> also die Demo geht zwei, zwei Stunden, 20 Minuten. Äh, fast alles macht. Jetzt geht es zum nächsten Spiel über. Ich war jetzt kein so lange hin und her. Ich gehe direkt zum nächsten Spiel. Ich hoffe, das geht ja ähnlich. Eh das habe ich gerade gespielt. Also kommt das jetzt. Das ist, äh, das ist ja sehr gleich, was das ist.